Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to BTTV. I'm your host, Brandy True, and today I will be chopping it up with a special guest, my cousin, artist Diane Rosier. Diane, what's up? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. Grateful for another day. Right? Me too. Zai, you have been killing the art game for a minute and you're so young. I want to know, how did you get your start in art? My parents gave me a crayon and they just realized that I like to draw a lot. I like to sit in the corner and start drawing. I know your childhood drawings probably like don't look like a little child's drawing at all. It's probably <laughs> super advanced, right? For sure, for sure, yes. You use like a lot of vibrant colors like what is this technique this is i know it's painting but is it like water painting like what is it what is it called my artwork is very distinctive a lot of people tell me my artwork fell in this contemporary art field but uh -huh. i don't like to label my artwork in that type of field i like to uh -huh. just create art that come off my heart and the materials that i use i use a large variety of it for example, uh -huh. I use coloring pencils for majority of my artwork. For example, one above my head. Right. There is up the most famous painting up to date. Um, I also use oil paint, acrylic, uh -huh. digital art, you name it. But I prefer coloring pencil. About how many pieces do you feel that you've painted so far? Up to date and yeah. like my most professional work? Yeah, like in total, how many paintings do you have? I'm probably like 40, 40, wow. 40 artwork that I'm confident in and I could promote as my own original artwork. So around 40. Wow. And where do you get your inspiration for what you're going to paint? Like, do you meditate and it just comes to you? Do you see something you're like, okay, that's what I'm going to paint next. Like, how do you get that inspiration? Correct. I get my inspiration through multiple ways by nature and the second most way I get my inspiration from is just sharing close memories with friends and family members. And you, I remember you even did a painting of me and you killed it, y'all. The It looked exactly like me. It was at my graduation party. Like, he even had the mole. Like, he just had it. Hey. Now. You remember that? Yes, I remember that. How long does it take for you typically to complete something? It either takes three weeks to a month, but it all depends on the painting. One thing about this particular field, I like to take my time. Yeah, you don't rush. No rush at all. You just put your headphones on and you locked in? Yeah, locked in. Headphones on, locked in. Closed door. I spent hours without me actually noticing that I spent hours working on art. <laughs> Die with your talent. What opportunities have presented itself to you because of just how skilled you are? During my senior year, I will apply to multiple art scholarships. So I applied for this one specific scholarship, which is called the Isaiah Fund for Art Education. And when I applied for that scholarship, they received my art application, but without my artwork. So the JPEG, they wasn't able to look at my artwork due to some technical error. So during my senior year at Robert Morgan, they saw my artwork at a panel. During that time, I wasn't at the art show because I was running late to that event. And they decided to give me a scholarship because they wanted to find out who was this kid. And that was me. So it's so funny. Thank you to Marilyn and Marlene for giving me this opportunity. And they just opened the doors even more with their connections and just want me to inspire the next generation of full of artists. But so why didn't they receive it? Like, what happened? Um, I believe when I sent it through JPEG, I guess the file was too big. And I guess, nor me, I didn't rec recognize the minimum size requirement. Oh, wow. But look how God worked. Right, that right. That shows you that yes. what's meant for you will not pass you by. So I had this artwork displayed, my prayers up. I had my self-portrait drawn of myself, which is this right here. My clear cell. I always name it clear cell, because during this time, I had back acne, mm -hmm. and I wanted to create an artwork that everybody relates to, which is this one right here. Zai, that's a good message. Because I just wanted to create an artwork based on the consumers, what people consume every day. 
So I figure the acne creams, just being a teenager, we always adapted to that. You know, you just gotta have a great skin routine because nobody wants to look bad. Everybody wants to look their best. So I had to step out of that comfort zone because I remember and very on, you know, the annoying acne bumps that pop up in the middle of your head or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had that too. And you've even expanded your artwork to merch. Like you have on a sweater right now with one of your paintings, right? Go ahead and show that. <laughs> Are you going to be making Correct. any products available yeah, it's for purchase? My yes. Yes, it's available for purchase right now. We actually got products online. Oh, really? What type of products? Products. So we have stickers, merchandise, reproduction prints, what I have on behind me. Uh -huh. as long as uh, with original paintings as well uh -huh. on my website. So when you sell a painting, are you selling the rights with it as well? Like, how does that work? It all varies. If I'm selling an original painting, for example, the prayer is up, the most common one. If I sell a reproduction print of it, I will send a, a certificate of identification and on the bottom, more specifically, that will say this artwork is not meant to be resold or be reproduced, that I'm the artist, have all the rights to it. When it comes to a commission piece, this is a commission piece, and it's something that I came up with naturally. It's something somebody requested. I don't have that much leverage over it because it's something that, you know, I just did it for the moment for money. Mm -hmm. And it's not like my own original artwork. So mm -hmm. that's the time when I sell my original paintings but I always keep my masters so this painting no matter how many times you see it in people's homes I still have it to this day because I know the true value of it. That's important for other people who are inspired by the way that you move and just the person that you are. Maintain your masters, know your value. Well, how did you come to find out what colors blend so well? Like I know maybe just because I don't have any art knowledge at all like I'm terrible when it comes to art and craft but like how does someone know what colors to blend together or if they should use color pencils versus paint like how do you know those different things the primary colors are red blue and yellow uh -huh. and the secondary colors is green orange and purple when you have those colors in mind mm -hmm. they have certain name for them so the complementary color is a term that have one color on the side of a color wheel, which is blue, and the opposite color on the other side is orange. Uh -huh. So naturally, through observation, people notice that blue and orange have a strong contrast uh -huh. against each other. So it'd be like a big clash in, in between those two. A lot of companies use that to their advantage. And if you want to talk about commercials, you could also talk about Burger King, the Burger King logo. The uh -huh. logo is red, blue, and yellow, the primary colors. Ah, look at you, you know your stuff, Zai. Thank you, graduated from Robert Morgan, my art teacher from Miss Sharp, amazing lady. She uh -huh. helped me a lot. Uh -huh. So she introduced me to new techniques, things that I didn't necessarily know and she knew from other artists and she just passed on all of that knowledge to me and I was just blessed enough to intake all of that information. Yes. That Yes, I'm so proud of you. What's everything that you do? I know I've seen a lot of your paintings, but you don't just paint, right? You do other things. Yes, I do every other things as well. Like I actually carve, so printmaking, for example. So okay, this cool. is what I carve. This is a this is a carving of a hibiscus flower uh -huh. on a linoleum pad. So the whole process right here, we'll sketch it out. Then we use tracing paper, and after we have our tracing on here, we'll get a, a V tool. So it's basically a sharp blade, and you know, you gotta be careful. I rec recommend anybody to be careful with a blade, nothing to play with. Yeah. So you don't cut yourself. And we just carve different lines. That is like crazy, Zai. That's like so much detail. How long it took for you to do that? I believe two weeks during this time. Two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, that is beautiful. That is crazy. Okay, so you draw, you paint. Correct. And you do printmaking. Correct. And do you sculpt? Yes. yes, I do sculptures as well. Hold up. What? Zai, that is crazy. 
One second, one second, one second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Zai! You are very uh -huh. talented. I did not know that you sculpt. I just happened to ask that just to see like all the skills you have, but I didn't know you actually sculpted. What what, what is that this, right there? What is the green? What is the green? <laughs> this is my inspiration from like one of those turtles off of Minecraft. So I want to make ah, my uh, Let me see the cat again. Zai, this is crazy. You are crazy talented. Like you have multiple skills in art not just painting that is how long did it take for you to do that cat i believe a whole month i had originally wanted wanted to make this for my sister since she's a big fan of cats uh-huh yes. that is crazy that looks amazing zai zai i know you like have shown your art in different public spaces like through art galleries and galas do you ever get nervous when it's time to showcase your art? No, at first I used to be nervous because it was a different environment, but I learned how to adapt really fast. Uh -huh. And I just love people that appreciate art the way as much as I do. So it's just a good chemistry and we just vibe really well. And that's my new home. Like that's it. like now I'm ready to shine. You know, that's my uh -huh. purpose. <laughs> That's cool, Zai. What do you remember about that feeling when you first saw your work displayed in the art gallery? I was in awe. It was just that feeling, just that butterfly feeling. I'm like, oh, I made it. That's me on the wall. A wonderful feeling. And everybody had their own interpretation. And it was just nothing but positive energy and just uh -huh. that encouragement just to keep on going. My artwork has been displayed at Miami International Airport, Larry Little, Art gallery. Um, I also had my artwork display at Pinecrest Gardens, which is an amazing spot. Yes, that's big. That place is beautiful. It. How important is it for someone to be bold in whatever it is they're doing, whether it's art, whether it's journalism, whether it's sports? Like, how important is that confidence? It's definitely important, especially in something that you want to pursue. In, um, I understand it's something it's. You can't learn it over time, mm -hmm. but you could practice on it. I just know that if I want something in life that I was taught that I have to work for what I want. What artists do you look up to? Ken Hill Wiley, if I'm not mistaken, if I hopefully I pronounced the name right. His backstory, it was just interesting seeing somebody of my color at an art basel and he had his artwork displayed there. Somebody of their somebody that looked like them on on a big behind canvas in art basel. That was so inspirational. And just the way how he was able to do a painting of hyper-realistic portraits of people. So it looked like a picture, but it's really not. Uh -huh. so that what inspired me. He inspired me as an artist to develop my own style and just express the way how I feel on a piece of paper. What's next for you? What are you, what are you working on now or in the future? Uh, what I'm currently working on at this moment, I'm working on my YouTube channel. So I speak a, a lot about inspiring the next generation on this YouTube channel, along with time-lapse videos of my self-creating artwork. And That's amazing, Zai. That's Thank you. amazing. You're giving your knowledge to others to better perfect their craft. Zai, I'm so proud of you. How proud are you of just everything, how far you've come, just seeing your artwork coming to fruition, being at art galleries, speaking at college right. campuses. Yeah, I'm very proud of myself. Just grateful to see myself and this perspective and everybody is encouraging me. It's very motivational. And it just give me another reason to keep on pushing forward and just continue inspiring people. Yeah. I love it. I love it too, Zai. Keep pushing forward. Keep inspiring people. You are definitely on your way to the top. And I just can't wait to see you reach that pinnacle of success because it's definitely coming. Y'all, make sure y'all go get Zai's art. Zai, what's the website to purchase? The website to purchase my artwork is zionrosier.com. Z-I-O-N-R-O-Z-I-E-R.com. Go get it, y'all. Y'all won't regret it. I promise. Super skilled. Zion Rosier. Thanks, Zion.